Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to my channel youtube origin graphics into this video i'll be teaching you guys how to design this club flyer in corredro if you're new consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future upload coming over here guys these are the stock images we'll be making use of all right um i've actually taken out the background of this image so we're going from this to this all right so if you don't know how to take our background in photoshop or in Corel Draw, please go and watch out my previous videos i have videos where you can learn how to take out background in photoshop and in Corel Draw. so over here guys these are backgrounds and icons which we'll be making use of and over here is the text and the names of the fonts we'll be making use of so you can check the link on the down description below to download and make use of it so without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we change our paper size. So the first thing we're going to have here is go to our property bar. Um, if you're not conversant with anything you're seeing here, please go and watch my beginners class. All right. You're going to understand every bit and every bit of step we're taking to make this flat. All right. So. Um, over here we have our menu bar, standard bar, and property bar. So go to your property bar and select units. Then under units, you draw units. You're gonna see inches. All right. So under inches, just click on inches and um, come to your page dimension and change to 10 by 10 inches. So that is the size we're making use of. So press enter on your keyboard. Enter key is the biggest key on your on your keyboard. All right. So click on it and this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is bring our rectangle to and draw this way. For those of you who using um, who are using um, lower version, forget the English I'm speaking. If you are using lower version of Corel Draw, just double click here. Huh? Double click here and it will bring itself here. For those of you asking me why I always draw the letter, why don't I double click? This is version 2021. And um, if you actually want to get it, you can DM me on Instagram. DM me. If you don't follow me, please do not DM me. And if you're not subscribed, everything I'm saying here, you will not understand. You will never understand. But subscribe to understand, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is change this to um, 10 by 10. We're going to change this to 10 by 10 and press enter. So you can see it is not fitted to this frame. So the next thing we're going to do is press letter P on your keyboard. P to make it fit to frame. And the next thing we're going to do is drop our tool using pick two. Pick two is either used to select position or transform objects. All right. So that is it. So the next thing we're going to do, you can see we have a black stroke. We call this line black stroke or an outline. Black stroke or an outline. If you don't understand, that means you are not subscribed share this video all right so to remove that outline or stroke you can see there's a parallel pa para anyway this line here the red one you're seeing here you can actually right click on it and select set outline color if you don't understand you are not subscribed if you like subscribe if you like don't subscribe thank you so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to import the files we'll be making use of. So go to file, locate import. Import simply means bringing in something from outside to Corel Draw. Outside of Corel Draw to Corel Draw. Export is actually taking something from Corel Draw to outside Corel Draw. Layman understanding. All right. So basically, this is the folder and these are all the files. So select every bit of file you have here. And um, what you're going to do is basically select everything and um, click on import. All right. And once you do that, you can basically drop every bit of file you have over here and um, leave that to that, guys. All right. So now what we're going to do is you can see we've taken out the background of this image. So we're going to delete the one with background. Boom. And that is it. All right. So now we're going to bring in this background and scale it up this way and basically leave that to that and right click on it. 
Once you right click, you will see a drop box and under this drop box, locate power clip inside. Power clip inside. If you're not subscribed, you can see I'm not taking my bait since morning. I'm just trying to make this video. So you guys should subscribe and um, so that we're going to have my bait. Huh? <laughs> so select power clip inside and this arrow is going to come up. So once you see this arrow is asking you, where do you want to power clip this into all right so that's what the arrow means so basically let's click on it and it will actually take itself into the frame now right click again and select edit power clip and select edit power clip then bring this to the middle scale it up this way bring it over here all right then go to effect select blur if you cannot see effect on your menu bar go to bitmap under bitmap you will see creative then under creative you will see blur all right so select gaussian blur gaussian blur and then you can basically blow this blow it all right it's actually okay it's working so you can blow not so much but just blow it this way all right you can use 9.3 pixels let's see the preview and uh, let's let's increase that to 10.9 and let's see the preview and that is okay so click on okay and um, that is what you're gonna have so the next thing we're gonna do is click on finish all right and um, bring in this image and scale it up this way and scale it up this way so once you're done um come over to effects select adjust then select brightness and contrast and increase the brightness sorry all right increase the contrast brighten it a bit and um click on the um, okay increase this and click on okay then go to um effect select adjust then select um, color balance so what you're going to do is let's reset this to normal then come over to let's give this red let's increase the red all right then let's increase the blue <laughs> because if you check the background you'll see there there is i just wanted to blend with the background all right then increase the blue and um let's add a bit of cyan to red magenta <laughs> and click on ok then what you're going to do is right click and select power clip and um, power clip it in here right click again and select this power clip and once you do that scale this up and um, bring this up here all right so this is basically what you are going to have so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in your rectangle tool and draw this way now the right angle two is there so what you're going to do is just give it let's give it a white outline so we can see i told you the the name of this is called outline or stroke any color that has a a line that has a line color is called a stroke or outline but if it has a color inside it's called fill right something like this so now what you're going to do is you're going to basically um bring in your eyedropper to color eyedropper to and pick a color from here all right so let's pick this color and fill it in here and um, basically um remove the white stroke by going to this right click and select set outline color then what you're going to do is come to this color thumbnail down here double click on it and this drop box is going to come up so basically use it and adjust adjust your color to maybe something make it bluish and click on OK, then select your transparency tool, then fade out this edge. The reason why we're fading out, you can see this line is very sharp. So I want it to blend to this background by fading this out basically this way and just, just the way you're seeing it, just the way you're seeing it here. All right. So that is it. And click on the um, finish and leave that. That's the next thing we're going to do is basically bring in our logo and place it just right here scale this up this way scale it up a little bit and next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in um i'm going to bring in the the names sorry the the text 
And once I do that, I'm going to just copy this. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Just this way, right? Let's copy. Control C. Select your test to put this over here and um, use Control V to paste. Then we're going to give it a white color so we can see what we have. So the next thing we're going to do is copy this text. Use Control X to cut and paste it over here. Now, right about that, I'm going to just basically break this apart using Control plus K. Control plus K to break it apart. So once you break it apart, everything you're seeing here is on its own. So the font name for this is, if you come to this text, you will see fonts used. Then this is the name of the font I'll be making use of. So if you don't have it, please use the name of this to go and download. Download the font and make use of it. So I'm going to just basically scale this up. And the name of the font I'll be making use of this is called corporate all right so i'm going to just paste this don't just copy and paste if you don't have the name of that font do not just copy if you don't have it you're not going to see it so you just have to use the name and download it so this is it so basically i'm going to scale this up this way i'm going to change it to uppercase by hi highlighting it using ctrl a and um, shift f3 to go to uppercase and um Uppercase simply means capital letter. I'm going to scale this up this way. And I'm going to use Captain Book for this. All right. I'm going to change this to uppercase, shift F3. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bold this. Once I do that, I'm going to scale this up this way. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically play with this font. All right. By right clicking and select convert to curve. All right, shortcut is control plus Q. Then I'm going to select my rectangle tool, draw this way, convert this, and draw. So once I draw that, let me give them an outline so we can see. Now select shift and um, select this text, then come over to trim and trim this this way. And uh, this is what you are going to have, guys. This is basically what you're going to have. So look at what we're going to do to this um, this text. We're going to come over to transparency. Go to um, go to merge mode and select overlay. Then once you do that, let's try color dodge. So we can leave that to overlay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the text. Same text and use Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste it. You can see what is happening there so you can paste it again to have a good um, feel of that so that is what you're gonna have guys so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna scale this up this way all right so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and paste it just right here then I'm gonna use Capton book um, Capton book and I'm gonna bold it change it to uppercase and um, I'm gonna just use my shape tool to adjust this this way drag it up this one is used to expand or give this um this one is used to um increase the spacing or reduce so now you can just place this just right here and um you know make sure it is aligned to this this way all right let me bring my ruler then i'm going to bring this one down and I'm going to basically remove this and use my um, rectangle to draw a line this way, a box, then give it white fill. Then I'm going to basically drag this one up, drag another one up, and that is what you are going to have. So I'm going to scale this one down this way and uh, leave that to that. All right, so this is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to cut this, paste it here, then I'm going to cut this and paste it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it caption book, bold it, and um, now I'm going to just put a cursor here, use delete to bring it back. All right, use delete to bring it back, add some spacing to read, and uh, do same to this, and this is what you are going to have. So if you don't understand, that means you're not subscribed to this channel and if you understand that means you are subscribed all right so now i'm going to just put this here and use my rectangle to draw a box just right here and give it light yellow 
Then I'm going to basically remove the stroke and bring this up this way. Give it a black color. So this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to replace the names of this with um, some icons. So basically, uh, I'm going to bring in this one, bring in this one, bring in this one, bring in this one. Guys, every bit of what I'm putting here is on the down description below, guys. So I'm going to use this one to uh, represent the wine bar. All right. I'm going to use this to represent the wine bar. So I'm going to reduce this this way. Then I'm going to use this one. Space it to represent spots bar. All right, so I'm going to just basically scale this down this way. And um, the next one is pump price. We're going to just basically use this one to present for you to search um, for all this. You can search them on Google by using the names pump price, grill, and all those stuff. So we're going to use this one to represent grill. All right, so I'm going to just leave that just right about that. And this is what we are going to have. So I'm going to just basically leave that over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. I'm going to cut the address where this program is going to help. All right. Copy the address, change it to uppercase. Sorry. Change it to caption book, bold it and um, reduce this. Then use my shape tool. And I told you guys this is used to increase spacing. All right. So just drag this way and um, place that just right about that and bring this one down here. And this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. Place it just right here. All right. So I'm going to bring this one here for reservation. Bring this one here and paste it over here. So guys, we're going to just paste this one and bring it just right about that. So the name of the font I'll be making use of is um, let's try. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's leave that to Capton Book. All right. So this is what we are going to have, guys. So this is what we're going to have. So we're going to keep this one down here. Then I'm going to bring this one down this way and um, leave that to that. So I'm going to place this one just right about that. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to um, bring this one and um, scale it down. So this is actually the Instagram and um, Facebook handles. So I'm going to extract this from this to enable us change the color. So to do that, come over to bitmap, select mode, select black and white. Then click on conversation method. Make sure it's on line art. Then click on OK. Then come to trace bitmap, outline trace line art, and um, wait for that to load. And boom, guys, click on OK. And uh, I'm going to just leave this here and uh, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to do the same to the Instagram icon we have here. Go to bitmap and select conversation method to line art. Click on OK. Then select trace bitmap, outline trace, line art. And um, boom, guys, this is what you are going to have. So I'm going to just basically um remove this remove this and remove this and i'm going to basically group this together and uh i'm going to space this a little bit make sure they are all equal then give it the white color and um reduce this this way and basically place that just right about that and this is what you are going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do is uh, i'm going to basically bring this one Use Ctrl plus K to break it apart. Then the font I'll be making use of this is called, let me copy the font. All right, let me copy this font. All right, so this is the font, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to break it apart. I'm going to break it apart and bring this one down here. Reduce this to fit or align together. I want to bring this over here, leave that to that. And um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to bring this one down here. All right. I'm going to break it apart using control plus key. Then I'm going to put this here. The font I'll be making is of course, this is called agency. 
Then I'm gonna change this to uppercase shift F3 on my keyboard. I'm gonna bow this. Once I do that, I'm gonna scale this one just right here. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is bring this up. And um, basically what I'm gonna do now is change this to agency. All right. Then I'm gonna just change this to uppercase. Change this to uppercase and um, I'm going to just abbreviate this to this and um, change this and scale this one up this way. So once I do that, I'm going to bolt everything. I'm going to bring this one down here and um, I'm going to basically select my rectangle to draw a box over here and uh, use my shape to give it a round corner and basically select this and use shift page up to bring it forward then give it a black color all right so once you do that you can scale this one up this way and um, reduce this and reduce this this way then select this one and make sure it is aligned let me bring in my ruler and um, place this just right here so I'm going to bring this one over here and um, and that is it guys. So I'm going to delete the rulers and um, leave that to that. So if you understand, that is how we created this flyer. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bit of highlights to this by bringing this one, scale it up this way, place it just right here. I'm going to select my transparency to come over to this and um, select screen. Then I'm going to scale this up, scale it up very well, scale it up, scale it up, scale it up. Then I'm going to basically right click and select power clip. You can see why we're power clipping is because this is out of frame. So right click and select power clip, then place it into the frame. So we're going to scale this one up, bring it just here. Then I'm going to basically select screen. And once I do that, I'm going to bring it in here and uh, scale this up this way. And this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this rectangle too and uh, give it a red color. All right. So I'm going to um, type um, 18 plus, bring it here. Scale this up, give it a white color, and basically um, place it just right here. And make sure it is aligned to this. Make sure it is aligned to this, and this is basically what you are going to have. So guys, this is how we design this unique party or club flyer in Corel draw if you don't have any question please you can try this out if you have any question you can actually drop me a comment in the comment section below and like i said if you like subscribe to this channel if you like don't subscribe thank you and see you guys in my next video